Hi, if you are having trouble in turning on your PC, for example, what I do now, I'll turn on my PC, whether sometimes you see your RAM lights up or didn't, depending on RGB or not, then you need to check on your screen and your keyboard mouse. First, before uh, you turn on, remember to plug in your keyboard mouse and your screen. So for example here, we are having no screen, okay? We are having no screen, but the PC did turn on. So what you're gonna check next is your keyboard and mouse. So check whether your num lock is it light up. For my case, it's not light up. That means the PC is actually not booted up. So what you need to check, the first thing is your RAM. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the PC first. Okay, turn off. Make sure fully turn off. Turn off your power supply if you can, just for safety. Okay, and then open your RAM. So you need to uh, take out your RAM first, push the clip at the top and take out your RAM. Okay, usually it's the top, there's a clip, pull it out. Okay, usually during transportation uh, or usage, you, the RAM might come loose. That's why you can turn on the PC or might be a faulty RAM. So what you're going to do, you insert one RAM first. Because just in case there's two faulty RAM or one of it is faulty, the other might be good. So I'll go on and reinsert. So make sure the keyhole is aligned properly. Okay, do not switch. Okay, make sure the keyhole is aligned. Insert bottom and top. What I'll do is I'll push the top and the bottom side like this. Push it in to the motherboard. So, but make sure don't uh, push it at the side way because you might break your. Right. So I'll push it bottom and the top. Okay. I'll push it the top and bottom. Turn on the power supply. We'll test one RAM first. And I'll turn on my PC to see whether the PC can boot up with one RAM. Okay. I'll test the other RAM after this. And then if you do not have a screen, if the screen doesn't light up, check your num num lock. Okay. In my case the num lock did light up. That means the PC is booted up. If you have a screen, okay, good. We can continue to plug in the second RAM. If the PC doesn't have screen, you might want to check on your monitor or your graphics card. Because if you have num lock on your keyboard, that means your PC already booted up. That means something is wrong, it's not the RAM. So in our case, the RAM is okay, the monitor is okay. So that means the first round is just that the RAM is loose. So now I'll turn off the PC so we can insert the second one. Okay, we'll continue to insert the second RAM. Just like before, the bottom and top. Usually some motherboard, you have two clips. This motherboard only one clip, but you will usually notice there's two clip sound. Okay, plug it in turn on the PC and then we check on the keyboard I'll check whether the num lock does it lights up if it lights up that means your PC is booted up correctly and then you'll check your screen as well if there's no screen but with num lock that means something wrong uh, with your graphics card or maybe your cable or maybe uh, the monitor itself okay so uh, in our case the monitor already light up and then we should have yeah the num lock look Okay, if you can see your num lock, that means your PC already booted up. Okay, uh, for this one, we have the screen and the RAM are both working fine. That means just now it's just that the RAM is loose. This is how you solve a loose RAM problem. If already plugged in, they have lights, everything, but no num lock, that means something wrong with your RAM or your motherboard. You might need to get it checked.